<clears throat> hey YouTube, this is Mystic Virgo 4444. I am back tonight for yet another reading. I'm combining a couple of decks of tarot cards to see if I can get a thorough reading for you. Uh, maybe there's someone out there who specifically needs to know something. I'm combining my Talking to Heaven cards with my advice cards here, advice from the angels. So I'm just combining these two cards to see what I can come up with. And this is going to be a reading for someone who needs to know it about a person who has passed away. Uh, who, it's like, do you have a message for me? That's what I'm going to call it or something like that. Do you have a message for me? So I'm, com I'm combining two sets of cards, like I said, to see if I can come up with a, a message for you or for, wh or for whoever needs to listen to this message here. You have a message for me. I see this card came out again. Have an attitude of gratitude. So I wanted to lay that there aside. See what kind of uh, messages uh, that we can come up with tonight. What messages do we have for the person tonight? Except struggles. Hold it. Except except struggles as lessons. What does the person who has passed on have to say to you? What does the person who passed on have to say to you? Card fell, I have here, take responsibility for your actions. Take responsibility for your actions. So maybe you need to have an attitude of gratitude. Uh, accept struggles as lessons, take responsibility for uh, your actions. Um, see what I can get out of these three cards here. Now they're just pumping away. You are you are here for a reason. So maybe you are um, having been grateful for certain things that you have had in your life. Maybe um, maybe it's you're struggling with something and maybe you're struggling uh, to be grateful for what little you do have. And this is practice moderation. So maybe you are struggling right now. Well, probably not even struggling, but you're just you don't know how to be thankful. And this person already have probably told you before they passed away. Well, you need to be thankful for what you have and stop and stop complaining for what you don't have. Uh, release toxic relationships. Let go of your ego and set your intentions. So this is something probably specifically for a person who um, who doesn't know how good they have it or who doesn't know how good they had it. Uh, maybe uh, you're not taking a responsibility for being a grown up or, or taking a responsibility for, for learning from your mistakes. Maybe there are some, some things that you need to learn in your life that um, that, that you need to grow up. Uh, you have to, to let go of your ego. Stop taking everything so personally and release those toxic relationships you are in, whether it be, be with a male, male, female relationship, whether you're um, running the street with a bad crowd, maybe uh, doing some uh, drinking. Oh, you know, overly intoxicated or are drugs take responsibility. You know, uh, you're struggling because you want to struggle. It's like you're not learning from your mistakes. Um, I tried to raise you to be a certain way. I didn't raise you to be this way. You don't need to do what you're out there in the street doing. You don't need to say what you are saying. I raised you better than that. And I'm getting chills right now. Take responsibility for your actions. You don't need to do what you are doing. You were raised better than that. You, I have told you countless times before you were here for a, a reason. And worry is a, a, a worry is a wasted emotion. Yeah, practice moderation. You're overdoing it. Whatever you're doing, you are overdoing it. And you need to forgive yourself. Or you're overly intoxicated or whatever it is you're overdoing, probably alcohol. Practice moderation. Don't drown your sorrows in a can of beer. Forgive yourself. What are you so worried about? Worry is a wasted emotion. Set your emotions straight. Set your intentions and take take responsibility for your actions. You know, um, 
I'm just I'm just a thought away. Forgive yourself. And these are two different decks for who this for who this message is for. Uh, I'm just a thought away and forgive yourself. I'm I'm passed away. I'm I'm gone. I'm going on to be with the Lord. I'm going away now. Now you have to do for yourself. Now you have to learn for yourself. You have to fend for yourself. You can't depend on people. I didn't raise you to depend on people. I raised you to take care of your responsibilities. I raised you to have an attitude of gratitude. And, and I, before I left this earth, I told you to let go of those toxic ass relationships. And you still hanging around these people you should not be hanging around. You are better than this. You know you are. You are here for a reason. And you're, you're throwing it all away. For whatever reason, I feel healthy and happy where I am. Why can't you feel healthy, healthy and happy where you are? Express your feelings. I can hear everything you're saying to me. You may not know that I'm there. You may not be able to feel me sometimes, but I am there with you all the time. Talk to me. Tell me how you feel. Express your feelings to me. I will listen. And, and my mind is free. Tell me your problems. Tell me your pain. Ugh, tell me your pain. And, and when, when I said this, people, I said, tell me your pain. And the next part I get here is now I have no pain. <sighs> my mind is free and my heart is racing right now. My mind is free. I have no pain. So talk to me. Tell me about your pain. Give me your pain. Give me your hurt. Give me your anger. Talk to me. We will be together again. Yes. I don't want to see you anytime soon. But if you don't start practicing moderation, we're going to see each other sooner than you think. Get it together. This is some, if this is uh, an emotional reading. I may be doing some channeling too because there's certain things that I don't say on a regular basis, but I have to catch my breath. So I have here, learn from your mistakes and never judge another. I'm not judging you. You know this. I'm not judging you. I'm just telling you the facts. I'm telling you what you already know. I'm telling you. What I've been through. You already know my story. You already know what I've been through. I don't want you to have to go and repeat the same mistakes I went through. I'm trying to prevent that. But it looks like the life you're leading, you want to go ahead and, and do it anyway. I left. I'm sorry I left. I had to go. It was my time. But that doesn't mean I don't love you. That doesn't mean I don't care about you. I'm with you every step of the way, morning, noon, and night. You just refuse to see it. I'm there. I'm with you. And, and your calm is not a weakness. You need to learn how to relax. Stop letting people irritate you. Stop getting so upset. And stay open-minded. I'm getting so many chills right now, y'all. Stay open-minded. Open your mind to a brand new you. Open your mind to a brand new world. You can do it. I know you can because I gave birth to you. This is a mother talking to her child. I always give you good night kisses. Whether you realize it or not, I'm always there with you. I'm in your heart. I am in, I'm with you. I am with you every step of the way. Whether you make a good or bad choice, I am still going to be with you. I'm still going to love you because I gave birth to you. I gave birth to you. I'm going to always be there for my child. And I told you that that day I went on, that I was going to be there for you, that I was going to always be there. And we are, we are soulmates. We are soulmates. I'm always with you no matter what. I may not be with you on earth, but I am with you in spirit. And I, I am with you in spirit and I'm standing right next to you. Yes, I am. And I'm still very proud of you. My heart is just racing right now. Whew. My heart is racing. So whoever this message is for, your uh, deceased loved one, probably your mother, wants to tell you that you need to slow down. Pro proceed with caution. Think again. Learn from your mistakes. Learn how to have gratitude for whatever it is that you have. 
Release those toxic people and those, those toxic relationships out of your life. You don't need those, those things in your life. And, and your mother, your mother has a better understanding of where she is right now. And that's why she wants you to clean your life up and get your life together. She doesn't want you to, be, to, to go through the same thing she went through. And, and there, she's so much better now. She's not in any more pain. She is in the land of milk and honey. She is doing just fine. And she wants you to get your life together so you can be just fine. Don't play with mama. And you, you're, you are never alone. They are always with you. Your mother is always with you. She gave birth to you. She was there the day you took your first breath. And you were there the day she took her last. And she knows that that hurt you. She knows that you can't forget about that day. She was so sorry to see you hurting that day with you being in so much pain and shaking on that floor, laying down, her, her laying down, looking like a baby in the corner <clears throat> because you were in the fetal position for whatever reason, because you were so upset and so crying, so hurt that your mother had left. Your mother's always with you, no matter what. <clears throat> They're with you morning. They're with you noon. And the night, she wants you to get your act together. And, and I am I am I am here helping you. So she is trying to help you. She's trying to talk to you. You probably can't see her or hear her. That's why this message is for you, because she's trying to help you. She's trying to lead you and guide you in the same direction. She was trying to lead you and guide you when she was here on Earth. OK, and here life is a choices. Life is a series of choices. Choose to love, but choose to love yourself first. Choose to love yourself first. Have an attitude of gratitude like you were raised. My mother always told me, I'm not going to steer you wrong. I'm not going to let you stand there and make the wrong decision and not going to say anything to you to help you. And that's all she's doing. She's still trying to help you. She's still trying to to be there for you, make, to make sure you don't make the wrong decisions, the same decisions that she possibly made wrong in her life. She doesn't, a, parent, a mother doesn't want to see her child suffer. She's not even in this world anymore. She's gone, going to heaven, but she still wants to help you get through your life. And there is no time where she is. Time is only here on earth. So you have a lot of time to get your act together. Don't shorten your lifespan because of some bad decisions that you can easily veer, veer yourself away from. Toxic people, to toxic environments, toxic relationships. Stop getting so upset when people say something to you like you did when your mother was here. Let it go. Let the ego go. People only tell you stuff for your own good. And, and don't get into it with the, the pastor or the reverend. Respect the pastor and the reverend. I'm, I'm getting that strong. Respect that person. Of clergy respect that person because they don't they don't do all they're doing is trying to help you they're trying to make you see where you're going wrong don't disrespect those people is this she's saying they're really strong don't disrespect those people you know that I raise you better than that don't you ever disrespect a clergy member and thoughts create your reality clear your thought pattern up I'm getting so many chills <sighs> hold on y'all I'm getting so many chills right now. Uh, your thoughts are create your reality. If you think you are going to have a bad life, you are. Manifest good thoughts in your mind. Manifest a, a good relationship with, with the Lord if that's who you profess. But your mother is strongly telling you don't disrespect the pastor or the clergy member. Don't disrespect those kind of people. And that's coming across real, real clear because she wants you to know don't do that. That's a no-no. Mm-mm. -mm. And you are still connected to your to your mother, still connected to her. She is with you. Like she's she's with you every step of the way, every step of the way. And she wants you to get your life together. And she's she says, I have become one of your guides. Yes, she has because she's guiding me to talk to you tonight. This may be for one specific person, maybe two, maybe a handful. Who knows? You'll know if this rest if this message resonates with you who who have lost a mother. Okay. Get your get your act together. I was going to say get your shit together, but get your act together. Possess, pos yeah, possess self confidence. Think more highly of yourself, women, ladies, whoever. Don't lay down with just anybody. Keep yourself clean. Don't lay down with just anybody. Don't let anybody defile your body. Don't just go and just give it to anybody who wants it. Treat yourself better than respect yourself better than that. 
I raised you better than that. Don't do that. Don't do that. You know better. And everyone has value, including you. You don't have to open your legs for every man that you see. You work better than that. Get it together. And I'm surrounded by loving animals. They're surrounded by a pet that possibly had passed away that you loved as a child. Or maybe they just had, maybe they had a pet or whatever. Maybe they were a veterinarian in life. And your energy, your love, love is energy. You need to start loving yourself. Think, think more highly of yourself. I'm, I'm seeing, I'm seeing prostitution. I'm seeing drug use. I'm seeing, um, hanging out in a bad environment. Maybe a, maybe a, a drug house, a crack house. And you know you're better than that because your mother is always with you, always in your ear telling you stuff. And, and you're sitting there, you're listening, but you're not moving. You're, you're still hanging around with the same unsavory group, unsavory people. And as a soul, I can be in several places at once. So if you have sisters and brothers, she can be with you and them too all at the same time. Because she still watches over all of you. And she tells each and every last one of you things that you all need to know. She just so happened to be right now pressing on you because you are the one who has always given her the most struggle. But you, should, but you were probably thought that you weren't her favorite. People, mothers aren't supposed to have favorites. They just have they're more pressed more harder on the people who they know who can do better and who have the ability to do better, better, but who choose not to do better, to do better. But she was hard on she was hard on you for a reason, because she knew you needed that extra push. Get it together. Don't just give yourself to anybody. Don't just uh, flush your body with, with drugs and alcohol. And it's really strong about the prostitution and you're probably selling yourself for drugs. And, and if you need help, there are tons of numbers that you can call to get help. But your mother is saying you need to stop. You need to give, give, give it up. Give it up. And to that person who is disrespecting a pastor, that made your mother some kind of angry. Mm -mm -mm. And you don't need to worry about this because it was just your, your your mother's time to go. It was her time to go. You can't blame yourself for that. That was not your doing. That was God's doing. And I, I asked for guidance. The guidance that is coming your way, that has come your way. Like I said about the prostitution, if you need help, you need to ask for guidance. If you have a pastor that, that's helping you, don't don't disrespect the pastor or the clergy. They're there to help. You can't disrespect the person of the cloth. That's a no-no. Don't do that. And I'm, I'm, they're over in heaven learning or wherever they are learning. And they're trying to teach you what they're, what they, they're still trying to teach you what they're, what they've learned here on earth and what they're learning now. They're passing it on to you, or at least they're trying. And they hope that you will listen. So believe in yourself. Yep. Yeah, but she's telling you, believe in yourself. You can do it because I know who I gave birth to. I knew who needed my extra pushing, my extra help. It was you. You can do it. I know you can. I know who I gave birth to. I have just that much faith in you that you can do it. I knew you can do all along. Yes, you can. And I, I watch over you every single day. You are my heart. You are my lifeblood. I still feel you. I still remember the day you were born. I remember everything about you. And I am still with you every step of the way. I will be there for you when you're going through detox. I will be there for you when you're going to get tested for the HIV virus. I will be there for you when you take your last breath because I'm going to lead you into heaven and sit next to me. But for right now on earth, I need you to do you and get your act together. I need you to get your act together because I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to always be there for you. All you got to do is call out my name and I will be there. I will always point you in the right direction. That's what I'm here for, to point you in the right direction. All you have to do is listen. All you have to do is get some help. All you have to do is believe in you. Believe that you can do it because I watch over you every day. And you know what? Believe in yourself. You can do it because I know you can. And that's why this, that's why I'm here. That's why this message came through to you today, because I know you needed my push. I knew you needed for me to remind you that I was there for you, that I'm always there for you. Even now, 
I may not be on the earth with you side by side, but I'm still right by your side every single day. I'm listening to every cry. I'm listening to every whimper. I'm listening to everything you say inside your head when you're laying on your back doing something that you shouldn't be doing, but you do it because of the drugs and alcohol. I know that you're hurting, but you need to get your act together for you. My life is done. My life is over with. I'm there for you, for you. Wow. Although you may not understand it now, everything happens for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. This message you're, he you're hearing now is for a reason. What I want you to start doing is appreciate your talents. You have so many talents that you haven't tapped into. And I wish I have. I wish I would have told you more often how much I loved you because I did and I do. You are my baby. I love you. I gave birth to you. I don't want to see you laying on your back. I don't want to see you doing drugs. I don't want to see you running from the police. I don't see you running from people who want to hurt you because of something you stole from them to get that drug money. You don't you don't live like that. You can do better for yourself. OK, you can do better and stop being so. It's not your fault that I had to go. I had to go. I had to leave that way. That was just my calling. But I'm OK now. I'm doing just fine. You need to get your act together for you. And there is no such thing as death. There is no such thing as death because my spirit still is around you all the way around you. I am with you right this very minute, right this very second. I am always with you. And life attracts like. You can't keep on hanging around unsavory people and think that everything is going to be OK. You need to get your life together for you. You need to get your life together for you and love who you are. Enjoy your divinity. Enjoy who I gave birth to. Enjoy the person who you are becoming. I want you to get your act together. And I am not dead. I'm always there with you. I'm always there to guide you in the right direction. I am always there to guide you in the right direction. Whether you go left or right, up or down, I am there with you every step of the way. But you have to have more faith in yourself. You have to have more faith in yourself. And I am with the rest of the family. We're all watching you. But for the main thing, my job tonight was to tell you to get your act together. Have an attitude of gratitude and know your worth. Know your worth. And above all, be yourself. Be yourself. My death was painless. And I didn't don't please don't worry or hold on to any guilt. Like I said before, it wasn't your fault. It was just my time to go. I have no earthly worries. No, I'm not worried about anything on earth. I do care about you. I do love you. But you need to get your act together. You need to straighten your life out. Let the drugs and let the prostitution go. Let the unsavory people go. Let the toxic environment you are hanging in go. Take your butt home. Stop being over that person's house when that, that environment is not, not good for you anyway. You have a home, go home. Don't stay there anymore. Let those people go. Find you some better people to hang around. You already know this. You already know this. And I come to you in your dreams to give you specific messages, but you don't hear me. You're never alone because I'm always with you. And you don't hear me when I'm talking to you in your dreams because you're always doped up off drugs, heroin, alcohol, beer, needles, crack. Whatever it is you are doing is clogging your mind and your brain and you can't hear me. When I'm in your dreams, you can't see me when I'm in your dreams. So this is the only way I can get this message to you because I know you are into tarot. So listen to me, listen to your mother and get your act together. I don't know how else to say it. I don't know how else to communicate with you. And kindness counts. Don't forget what I said about that pastor. Don't disrespect that pastor anymore. Get your act together. They're only trying to help you. Don't do that no more. Don't do it. I was met by so many loving people when I passed on. 
And you need to know that still, those people are still near you, and so am I. You have so many people loving you on earth, and all you have to do is don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of change. You've always had an issue with change. Don't be afraid of change anymore. There's no need for it. And you have, no, I keep telling you, you don't have anything to feel guilty about. What are you so guilty for? I'm the one who passed away. I'm the one who should be feeling guilty, but I'm just fine. Don't feel guilty about something you had no control over. Don't feel guilty about something you could not control. What I want you to do is get your act together. I don't want to have to come back and keep doing this. It took me a long time to get to where I'm at today. It took me a long time to find somebody to give you this message. And you better listen. I see all of your thoughts. All of the thoughts that are in your mind are all over the place because you have so many drugs and chemicals in your body, and in your system. I don't want to have to come back here and redo and tell you this stuff over and over again. I will if I have to. But I'm hoping after you hear this and after you see this message that you'll get your act together, that you will get your act together. If I've never told you anything, I've always told you to listen to me because it is beautiful where I am. Yes, it is. And I want to see you here with me. But I don't want to see you here anytime soon. Get your act together. Get your act together. And you know what? Follow the golden rule. I don't care whether it's a pastor, a bomb on the street, whoever it is. Do unto others. Do unto others. But for the most part, respect yourself. Respect yourself. Okay. So I don't know who this message is for. It has to be for somebody specific, maybe one person, maybe a, a couple of people. But this message was kind of intense. My heart was racing or whatever. I did a little channeling in it, in it and everything. And I hope that this message resonates with somebody. And, and if it resonates, please uh, like, subscribe and uh, hit the bell button so you can get more of my messages. I plan on doing a little bit more uh, messages like this in, in the future because it, it really, really helps me um, to bring out the messages to, to specific people. So I hope this message just rings a bell with anybody. And if you all need me to help you find some help, I'll do that too. Just let me know. Okay, you all have a good evening.